So Andy, uh, a great panel discussion today, a very open uh, conversation. We're here at Dot Art, the fourth instalment of their quest in time. Uh, a number a number of uh, interesting points that you made today. Uh, one of them, you said planning is almost your worst enemy. Yep. I, I think particularly if you look at building large systems, um, they often take 12 months, 18 months to build, and usually the market's moved on by then. And I think any long-term projects where you're trying to do something very innovative are difficult very good for doing things where you're streamlining things and so on but i think a lot of large companies find it hard to have a kind of semi-market economy for projects they like to set long-term plans like the chinese government or the the russian government did in the 50s and 60s a three or four year plan and then wonder why when they've built a project it doesn't actually fit the market needs so you need more of a mix of good projects that are really well managed and then looking out in the marketplace to see what little companies are doing because some of those will just grow and you somehow need to then adopt those into your ecosystem. And I think if you're over planning, it's very hard then to be flexible. And, and those are the two alternatives that, that your peers or that the other panelists came up with, which was one, um, you know, use small technology companies to deliver that technology for you. Or wouldn't it be wonderful if I was a small brand new hotel, and I could start from scratch. And I didn't have those legacy issues. Yeah. And it's very hard for a hotel who's in existence with a quite rigid property management system and various other systems to tie them all together. Just from a pure data perspective, it's a bit of a nightmare. And there aren't many systems that offer everything. Everyone is offering a particular perspective, whether that is property management or food and beverage or spa. And the ones that try and offer everything get very complex. And small hotels don't have the system's knowledge to put them together. Tell me, for a uh, travel tech event that, that ultimately this is, we didn't actually discuss that much technology. We started with the customer, and I think a word that you used was performance. Mm. I think every project needs to start with the customer. And if you're not working out where your added value is, and value always starts with something that you're bringing to the customer above and beyond what was there before, if you don't start with that, then the technology becomes a bit useless. I think you have to keep your mind open to what's going on in technology, but every technology build should start with, where am I bringing value? So you said there, uh, keeping your mind open. In fact, I thought this forum was a very open forum where you know, almost everybody actually agreed, even though they come, from, come at things from a very different perspective. What do you make of this kind of environment, this kind of um, a event, as opposed to a big, big travel conference? Oh, it's nice. It's, it's friendly. I think a lot of goodwill. People want to get some interesting answers. And um, it, it's more fun than some of the big ones where people are just trying to sell their own product. And the nice thing here was no one was out to sell a product. They were just out to have a good discussion.